It was a hidden camera moment that continues to shape the debate over education in Tennessee. Good evening, everyone. I'm Vicki Yates. And I'm Carrie Sharp. Today in Clarksville, a state commission held the third of three public hearings from a Hillsdale affiliated group asking the commission to give it permission to set up shop here. As our chief investigative reporter Phil Williams discovered, there's a lot of strong emotion on both sides. But why do I not trust the district? For this Montgomery County mom who says she doesn't want her children using school district laptops because someone might be spying on them. I don't trust the district because they've proven to me that their intent is not to be truthful. Hillsdale College's American Classical Academy. My school in this district were unable to meet my education needs, which forced my parents to not homeschool me. Offers her family a choice she says they deserve. With no public school alternative, we decided to take the giant leap into classical education at home. We saw results immediately. The state's Public Charter School Commission is considering an appeal from the Hillsdale affiliated American Classical Academy to open a taxpayer funded school in Montgomery County, overturning the decision of the local school board. I am not a proponent of Christian schools or private schools, but I am a proponent of public schools where all students can attend, learn, and function free from the extreme indoctrinations of a nation that no longer stands for anything. Why should we as a community allow Hillsdale a foothold here when their leader thinks so little of Tennessee teachers? Again, there were reminders of Hillsdale President Larry Arnn's comments that disparaged public school teachers. If a neighbor came into your house and calls your family dumb, would you allow them to come back? The gentleman here uh, to over to my left is the principal who has been hired for Clarks Mill Montgomery. To show Hillsdale's readiness, the man put in charge of planning charter schools in Tennessee introduced Phil Schwenk as the person who would be principal there. General, I have a few questions for you. Sorry, i got to run to the restroom. You, you, you've introduced Mr. Schwenk in three different places as being the principal. How is that going to work? Uh, I think we've clarified today he's the principal for here. He's but a principal of ACE. The same person introduced in Rutherford County. Phil Schwank, our principal for ACE. As our principal. Didn't you introduce him as principal in Rutherford County as well? As a principal of ACE, yes. I was introduced as a principal of ACE. So is that being honest with the commission? Absolutely, because I am a principal of ACE. But you would not be the principal in Rutherford County or Madison County? Well, I mean, it could be, but we obviously don't know what the decisions of the commission are. And that goes to the heart of one of the criticisms of the three proposed Hillsdale schools that under pressure from Governor Lee to quickly score political points, there's a lot we don't know, including who would really run them. Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates. Thanks, Phil. The final decision on the three proposed Hillsdale schools will come on October 5th, when the State Public Charter School Commission will vote on whether to override the decisions of the three local school boards.